Today, if the car guy brings you the darling of Pakistani motor scene and the cheapest car available from local car assemblers. Suzuki Mehran was introduced in 1989 and it is still being sold in our country as brand new. It's actually the second generation Suzuki Alto that was being sold in Japanese and European market between 1984 till 1988. Today, it still uses the 0.8 litre engine from late 70s and early 80s. Albeit with an electronic manifold attached to it makes it Euro 2 compliant. That makes our country unique in the world where we are being sold Mehran as a new car. That might make us unique in the world, but that's not actually something to brag about. Currently, the Mehran is being offered in two different variants, VX and VXR. Both are offered with and without CNG with price ranging between 650 to 775,000. Yes, considering the car, its build quality and the available options, it is much overpriced. But it is still the best selling small car in our country. Let's explore and find out the reason why is that. Let's take a closer look. As I mentioned earlier, this F8B series engine was carried over from the late 70s, making it almost 40 years old. It is a 3-cylinder 800cc unit that kicks out 39 horsepower and 59 Nm of torque. Now comparing the power output with the newer Japan imports, the Mehran is seriously lagging behind. The age of the engine really shows. The newer Suzuki small cars kicks out 53 horsepower out of a 660cc engine which is quite impressive. The turbocharged models even offer more horses. For example, the new 8th gen Alto puts out 64 horsepower with the turbo engine. Not only that, the new engine is made for new age, meaning they have been developed in an era that is dominated by green driving. Thus, all new engines are highly fuel efficient, with almost all boosting a fuel efficiency of around 20 and 23 kilometers per liter city and highway, respectively. Zero to 100 takes a doggage in the Mehran and if you do go over 100 km per hour on a highway, you feel as if the car will shake itself apart and lose almost all control. Now speaking about the fuel economy, Suzuki claims fuel consumption of 13 and 17 km per litre city and highway respectively. But from most of the Mehran owners, I have learned that they achieve more than 15 km per litre within the city use, which is quite impressive. The Mehran comes with shocks on the front wheels and a low-cost obsolete leaf-sprung rigid axle instead of a proper suspension at the rear. This means that the long journey are very bone-jarring, especially if done on village roads, the home turf of the Mehran. Now this is a 1998 model Suzuki Mehran in immaculate condition and it was not offered with the seat belts even. The cabin insulation is such that I can clearly hear road noise and I can feel every lump and bump in the road. It is likely to cause backache if you travel for a long distance in this car. The brakes on the Mehran are also not very good at doing their job and in stock form have led to many unfortunate fenders benders. Fortunately, people have gotten around this by taking their Mehrans upgraded with servo mechanism master cylinder brakes. The rear window defogger has also been sacrificed for some reason. The bumpers have gone under some shape changes, whereas they were quite proportional to the car in the earlier models. The later models have bumpers that look big, out of proportion to the car and very plastic and useless. The biggest change on the outside was changing the headlights for clear types a few years back. Other than that, as is Park Suzuki's habits, they just change the front grille design from time to time to give the sad illusion of change and something new every few years. Strangely, this strategy has worked so far and the masses seem satisfied. The Mehran is also unique in that it might be the first car I know of where the company selling it instead of putting more stuff and features in the car to make it more attractive as it ages it has actually removed some standard features and equipment this is very prevalent in the interior of the car the mehran used to come with four air vents two on either side next to the doors and two in the middle now on the later models they have removed the two vents next to the doors and they have only kept the middle ones these pedals are offset to the left and unfortunately it does not have any adjustment for the steering wheel. 
these seats provide a very awkward sitting position and most people sit in a slumping position that is extremely taxing on your back especially if sustained for longer durations no power windows and it does not have any bins in the doors overall it's a very simple package it has a decently sized glove box and Suzuki has introduced this CD and USB player along with two speakers in the front doors. It has a very simple and easy to read speedometer cluster. These new models are offered with the steering lock as well. And regarding air conditioning in the VXR model, don't even get me started. It does not work. Let's just leave it at that. At this point, you might be wondering, hang on a minute, this guy said he wanted to explore the reason why Mehran is still the number one selling car in Pakistan. Why is he just listing its faults? To tell you the truth, I just wanted to get this out of the way. If we start to talk about Mehran in any car community gathering, we will most probably get most of the points as I mentioned earlier. But if we truly look at the few reasons why this run down 30 years old car is still king, all arguments against it fall short. First reason is affordability. Yes, the new car is very expensive and you can get a decent used Japanese imported auto for the same price. You might also argue that even the parts of Japanese auto are cheap. But can it be fixed by any roadside mechanic? Can these road mechanics understand the ins and outs of the new Japanese cars? No. But they surely can claim that with the Mehran being in the market for over 30 years completely unchanged. It is a good bet that almost all car mechanics started their career working on a Mehran. They can fix it with their eyes closed. Surely the cost of the new car is high, but after that the maintenance cost is extremely low. And the second reason why Mehran is so popular, many people cannot afford new cars. So the Mehran enjoys a very healthy used car trade. Many people buy the old late 80s or early 90s Mehran or Alto and spend about 100,000 rupees to fix them up almost brand new. Even those people who buy good used Mehrans are happy and even if something does go wrong, which is very often, parts are cheaply and widely available and any mechanic can work on the cars. Thirdly, the Mehran is almost a go anywhere car for most rural families. I have seen Mehran being driven on rural village roads on which the new cars would just roll over and die. I have seen Mehran taxis carry cargo that would make you think why the car was not crushed. Put simply, it's a workhorse, ox or a donkey, whatever you need. And even if it does break down again, it is so cheap to repair that it will be back on road in no time. These are some of the reasons Mehran will never go out of style in Pakistan. This car has been around so long it has now integrated itself into Pakistani culture. This is not a good thing by any means but as long as we have a lack of good cheap options available I am afraid that will remain true. Thank you for watching us. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video please leave a comment and stay tuned for upcoming reviews of new cars.